It's a great variety. The station playing more of your favorites. Right now, something that happened uh, this past week, and I'm not quite sure how I feel about this one. What do you got? You know, we were talking about the guy last week, the, the school kid that was the student body vice president. They got suspended for buying the Skittles off of the kid, remember? Yeah, because they didn't have candy sales at their school anymore. Right, right. and I mean, I can right. understand why he got suspended. It's a clear violation of school policy. Sure, absolutely. For a freaking Skittle. Well. This one really bothers me, though. Did you hear about the girl who saved the school bus that was careening out of control? No. Being a hero is probably the worst thing that could have happened to Amanda Rouse, the 14-year-old high schooler from California, reined an out-of-control school bus in last Wednesday. The school bus was careening left and right. She was on the bus at the time. Really? Was able to save it. On She was on the bus with 40 other students. The driver fell out of her seat and hit her head while taking a turn. The driver fell out of the seat? Yeah, I think she was celebrating St. Patrick's Day early. I don't know. That's... Yeah. Okay, anyway, so but the Amanda, bus is out of control. Yeah. So Amanda rushes to the front of the bus. Right. Grabs... This 14-year-old girl grabs the steering wheel, this right, huge school right. bus, gets it under control... Parks the bus. No one's hurt. Hooray! Yay! She's a hero. Big hero. The school officials weren't singing her praises. They gave her, instead of, you know, an award, instead of any Thank kind of accolade. saving the lives of these other kids. She was supposed to be in class, so therefore slapped with detention. She was supposed to be in class. Right. Why was she, she was, on the she bus? She was on the bus heading to school because when she, she started to feel sick. But instead of calling the school to say she wasn't coming in, she asked the bus driver to bring her back to the bus yard after the bus driver finished her rounds of the day. So I guess, I don't know, maybe it was one of those routes where there's several schools. Regardless, she was supposed to be in class for the day. And because she wasn't in class, she got a, a detention. Yeah. Even though she did this. Even though she's a hero. I just think it's a little ridiculous, these folks in California. I think that's outrageous. I think that's... that's, that's what are they thinking? <laughs> uh, what are they thinking? Why would they punish this girl for something that she did like that? Yeah, she was supposed to be in class. She was sick. So on top of everything else, she was sick, and she still leapt forward and stopped the bus. Right. Yeah. I don't know. These, these, are, these are the kinds of things that get me fired all up just... <laughs> Just, you know, what are you thinking? You know, I mean, what are you thinking? It's, 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 I just saw something this weekend. I don't know exactly how current it was, but it, it, I think it goes back to this past football season. But what happened was um, these two girls in high school were suspended for three days because they had the audacity to paint their bodies in support of the, uh, the football team, okay, just like the guys were doing. Okay, they were covered. No, I was gonna, yeah, they yeah, covered. they were not. They were not. Wasn't that kind of body paint over, right. you know, nude body? The, the, I mean, the they, kind that you see in the they internet. Were, they were covered. You know, they were covered yeah. with bikini swimsuit tops, but they had painted their faces and their upper bodies the color of the of the team. Was this at the game? This was at the game, like the other guys were doing too. And the superintendent sent the two girls home for like three or four days because of improper. But uh, but uh, whatever. But yeah. the guys got in no trouble, you know. And they're completely topless, of course. <laughs> the guys, yeah, you know. And and the school district sends them, you know, sends them home. And I just makes you wonder what the heck is going on. I mean, decisions are based on so many different reasons, and there's it's it's so different from from even when you went to school. Right, I guarantee it. Even that that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be in that position. I wouldn't want to be a, a head administrator at a school because... Oh, heck no. <laughs> so many things nowadays that, you know, it, 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 it's... Well, here's something but I'm wondering it's, it's, about. It's something like this yeah. that makes me wonder that what, you know, what, what, what priorities are ruling that district when you have somebody that stops a careening school bus full of kids... And saves them from getting hurt. Yeah, could have potentially been very, very negative press for this school district. And, they get, and then it's uh, instead negative press anyway. And detention. She got Saturday detention on top of it. No! Nice. I wonder if she's going to be asked to write a letter about herself. I don't know, but there's somebody <laughs> may have distinctly heard a ruckus. Should be in there with Emilio Estevez <laughs> and... Uh, Molly Ringwald. Yeah. <laughs> Judd Nelson. Oh, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> 
Hey, coming up after this, we'll have a look at your news headlines on the day. This one's going out to you, Amanda Rouse. Start your own breakfast club. Fight the power, girl. <laughs> sunny side up, sunny 101.9. Catch the bull by the horn.